a Sumero Akkadian hymn to Ishtar. It was written in the latter part of the First Dynasty of Babylon, approximately 1600 BCE. The hymn ingratiates the goddess in praise and then reaffirms the blessings she has given to the Babylonian king, Amiditana. Praise the goddess, the most awesome of the goddesses. Let one revere the mistress of the peoples, the greatest of the EGG. Praise Ishtar, the most awesome of the goddesses. Let one revere the queen of women, the greatest of the EGG. She is clothed with pleasure and love. She is laden with vitality, charm, and voluptuousness. Ishtar is clothed with pleasure and love. She is laden with vitality, charm, and voluptuousness. In her lips she is sweet, life is in her mouth. At her appearance, rejoicing becomes full. She is glorious, veils are thrown over her head. Her figure is beautiful, her eyes are brilliant. The goddess, with her there is counsel and the fate of everything she holds in her hand. At her glance there is created joy, power, magnificence, the protecting deity and guardian spirit. She dwells here, she pays heed to compassion and friendliness. Besides, agreeableness she truly possesses. Be it slave, unattached girl, or mother, she preserves her. One calls on her, among women one names her name. Who can equal her greatness? Strong, exalted, splendid are her decrees. Ishtar, who can equal her greatness? Strong, exalted, splendid are her decrees. She is sought after among the gods, extraordinary is her station. Respected is her word, it is supreme over them. Ishtar among the gods, extraordinary is her station. Respected is her word, it is supreme over them. She is their queen, they continually cause her commands to be executed. All of them bow down before her. They receive her light before her. Women and men indeed revere her. In their assembly her word is powerful, it is dominating. Before Anam their king she fully supports them. She rests in intelligence, cleverness, and wisdom. They take counsel together, she and her lord. Indeed they occupy the throne room together. In the divine chamber, the dwelling of joy, before them the gods take their places. To their utterances their attention is turned. The king, their favorite and beloved of their hearts, magnificently offers to them his pure sacrifices. Amiditana, as the pure offering of his hands, he brings before them fat oxen and gazelles. From Anam, her consort, she has been pleased to ask for him, an enduring and long life. Many years of living, to Amiditana she has granted, Ishtar has decided to give. By her orders she has subjected to him the four world regions at his feet, and the total of all peoples, she has decided to attach them to his yoke. 